This machine makes every single chip in the entire world. NVIDIA, Apple, Meta, none of these companies would be able to function if it wasn't for this one Dutch company. These machines cost more than $100 million to make, but how do they exactly work and why are they so expensive? It's pretty crazy, but it all starts with a tiny drop of a very cheap metal. It's tin. But this tin is about to be hit with one of the strongest lasers in the entire world. And in the process, it turns into plasma, the substance that covers the sun's surface. It's super, super hot. And this machine can do this 50,000 times per second. Plasma creates extreme UV light, a type of light that we cannot see. This is one of the trickiest parts because light just scatters everywhere. But this machine needs to make sure that it guides it through the exact right process in order to make the exact right pattern for a chip. But how does it do that? Well, first of all, you need something that is extremely clean. There's not a single speckle of dust inside these machines. They're possibly the cleanest thing in the entire universe. This light is then guided through this vacuum chamber by using mirrors. And depending on the type of chip you want to make, it guides the light through a pattern that hits this surface, this big wafers that you probably see in the news a lot lately. These wafers are covered with a light reactive surface. So when the light hits them, it's essentially printing on them. But the wildest part is this. You see, each chip is made out of billions of transistors. And in order to make sure that each array of light hits that wafer in exactly the right way, the machine shifts this wafer 20,000 times per second with nanometer precision. But the chips are not ready yet. You see, these wafers are super hot. They've just been hit hundreds of thousands of times with the hottest substance on Earth. They need to cool down in exactly the right way or the chips get ruined. It's a little bit like when you bake a cake and they always say you gotta let it rest before you cut it. So these robotic arms need to grab each wafer and make sure that it cools off in just the right way. And that is why ASML is one of the most valuable companies in the entire world.